What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to episode six of the Mod One Podcast. I'm your host, Caleb, and my co-host. What's your name? Gage, Gage bro. <laughs> Come on now, dude. Don't don't criticize me. I give you the chance, and then you don't even remember my name. That's crazy. <laughs> What do you mean, bro? We're, we're good friends. We're good friends. <laughs> <laughs> I let you do the intro, and you don't even say my name. That's, that's messed up. Yeah, man. It's not like that, bro. So, yeah, anything exciting happened for you today? Uh, not much, actually. Nothing really not has really. happened in my day. I mean, <laughs> I went to all my classes. I, but let's, let's really, like, let's, let's talk about how... Um, you pulled your, uh, go-kart out of the way. Oh, yeah, so, long story. I parked it up back in the winter, when it was still the last bit of snow outside, and it was sitting in, like, a squashy pit. So, I just let it sit there. Now, did you, like, hose it off or anything? That was still very muddy, and... Jesus, man. Do you have any, like, cushioning on the seat? Dude, 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 dude. That go-kart, such a reliable little thing that I built. I built the motor on it, too. You don't know what I've done to it? What? Alright, guys, you might want to skip this part. It's about to be a motor geek. Uh, Seriously. so, what I, it's a little, it's a stock. I bought it, when I bought the motor, it was just a little old motor. Took it off the tiller. I added, I shaved the head. I put and polished the block. I, um, put an ARC billet rod in it. It's actually got a lot. ARC billet rod. Uh, three and a half horse flywheel. It's pretty gnarly as yes, And I, I did the weld, I welded on the camshaft to make that thing fat. Uh, and I've done a little bit of carb work. I've jetted the carb and... and... Have you ever thought about, like, spray painting it? Uh, it's red right now. Yeah, I saw it on the video. If I could, I would definitely put that up on the screen, but... You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about painting it midnight blue. Like, a really dark blue. I think you should, like, get into, like, taping it and, like, doing, like, tape designs. I don't know. It's gonna... I'm planning on building, like, I'm planning on building another one this, this uh, summer. I'm gonna build another one, build a street one, I'm put... And I'm gonna take that one, put a big block on it. I'm gonna make it like super duper powerful. Dude, yo, make the rooms dent in. Dude, put spinners on it. Oh my and I'm gonna God. put like big ass mud tires on it. But like, like boy, magnet. you're you're a redneck. How are you gonna get some spinners? Go to my boy. I don't know. Oh my God, I heard this joke. He said, "You don't know how to scare a black. You don't know how to scare a uh, a woman on Halloween." Ah. He said, "I said what? You know what he said?" He said, he said, um, uh, what did he say? What did he say, man? Uh, he said, ah, uh, oh yeah, he said, just dress up like OJ and jump out the closet, like, ah. That's crazy, that's messed up. Dress up as OJ, I would jump out the closet, like, ah. <laughs> Jeez. I said, dress up like OJ. Alright, alright. Speaking of OJ, let's get into that topic right here. Do you think okay. OJ did it? Yeah. No. No. He's too cool. Um. How do you want to do that? I don't know. I mean. I don't mean to offend anybody here. I think that he definitely did it. I think the evidence definitely Cause stacks he, against him. Because he's black. That has nothing to do with it, and you know it. Uh, yeah, and you know it. Actually, in in the eighties, white people yeah, loved was, OJ. Yeah, that was hilarious. Jump in the closet, dressed up like OJ. Ah, put ah. a butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> it's hilarious. It is a good idea, though. Three, that one. Two, one, Dude, I want to do that. To my girl. Okay, I don't have. Well, I I mean, as a white person, I don't think you're able to uh, dress up like OJ Simpson. Yes, I will. Ever heard of paint? Bro, yo, and you say that I'm a racist. Oh. For bringing up, um, the OJ trial. Like, come on now. Yeah, man. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. The reason why my brother's black. 
Is he real? Yeah, my brother is black. I have a mix brother. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. which side of the family? I, I, love, I love him very much. He's on uh, my mom's side. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Mama black. Oh, uh, okay, so like you guys have the same father though. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not uh, black. I'm a little bit. Jesus, man. But, we do have different dads. Uh, okay, okay. But, he's still my brother. Love him. Uh, let, let's talk about how your, uh... I guess your, uh, your cousin got exiled from the family for murdering a cat. Oh, okay. So, my little, 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 little guy, Levi. Sweet little guy. You know what he did? What do you do, bro? He cold, cold, fancy boss in the cat. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Boy, straight up. Cause Stone Cold said so. Cause Stone Cold said so. Like, bro. Stone Cold says so. Cause Stone Cold said, listen, man. Um. Uh, Speeding back on the go-kart and put like a huge motor on that, huge tires. Uh, what? Did you disappear, dear sir? Alright, so I guess I have to solo the podcast now. What? I guess I have to solo the podcast now. <laughs> what? I said, I guess I have to solo the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, shut up, man. Come on, die. Oh, my God. Listen, listen. All right, anything exciting happen for you? Today or just since the last podcast? Yeah. That last episode. Um, not really. I mean, my life isn't really that eventful. Jump out the closet like OJ. I'm going to be saying that all day. Tomorrow. Just jump out the closet like OJ. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to name a song, call it Jump Out the Closet like OJ. That'd be fire. I will. Oh, no. Let's put that shit on repeat. Like, Facts. bro. Jump Out the Closet like OJ. Hey. Hey. Dude, um, so, you're a, you, you, you're a song maker. What do you call song makers? What? What do you call so a song maker? Uh, an artist. A songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. You're a songwriter. Yeah. But you use chopped up recycled beats. That is not true at all. That is true. Have you listened to my music? No. Well, then, then you have no grounds to say that. <laughs> because you haven't well, heard any of my music. Link it, link it in the description below. Fair enough, but it's like, like uh, but it's like I, I sometimes like I sample stuff, but like sample stuff. You gotta sample. You gonna sample little yachty? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sampling Can is sample. Like, you two. Sample. I don't know what sampling is. You don't know what? Are you serious? Nope, I don't know what it means. Dude, never have, never will. sampling is when you take a small section of another song and then put it into your song. Do it, oh, Astro World. There's a lot of samples on Astro World. No, you sample Astro World. On what song? Oh, I uh, jumped out of the closet like OJ. Bro, what? I haven't even made that yet. Just do it, just do it. When you do make it. And sample at Astro World. I mean, what song? Man? Jump up the closet like OJ. Hey, if you will hit me in the back of like, oh my god, yeah, nah, 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 nah. You can you spit freestyle for me? Freestyle. We're gonna have freestyle. a new segment on the channel. Freestyle. <clears throat> Yow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. There you go. That's it. That's my. Favorite. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Well, cause bro, like a lot of rappers, they like they do a lot of groans and moans in their freestyles, and I'm really not with that. It's just like it should be. I saw about... a video of Rod Wave freestyling, you know, and he was sweating. Jesus, dude. I mean, bro, bro, that was... he's putting passion in the lyrics, though. Dude, to be honest, yeah, like 
Bro was like having a whole. A whole what? Who knows, man? Uh, who knows what? What you were saying? What was I saying? I don't know. I have a condition that makes me have short-term memory loss. I have a condition that makes me have, have to jump at the clock of the day. <laughs> yeah, because you're a constant chronic head. Random. <laughs> It's that is hilarious. You're gonna jump out of the closet like OJ. Ah! With a butcher knife. <laughs> Yo, so you make that exact noise. Ah! Ah! Uh, she gonna be like, ah! What the? Ah! Dude. <laughs> jump out the closet. Ah! <laughs> like, bro. Ah. The butcher knife in a slow motion, like, ah! Three, two, one, brawl! <laughs> That, that that could be funny, definitely. Alright, so yo, favorite comic book character, bro? Deadpool. Deadpool? He's, he's pretty up there, but I think in recent times he's become overrated. Really? Yeah. You got a favorite story arc? Uh, no. My favorite one was when no, Deadpool... the Batman who smiled. Oh, uh, the Batman who laughs? Yeah, the Batman who laughs. He, he is cool. I mean, it's a cool concept. I've never used this guy before. Huh? Never used this guy before. I've, I've used this guy, but, you know, I don't really play the game like that. You got a favorite right. anime right now? No. Ew. Why not? Anime. Why not? Gay. Anime is gay. Not, not at all, man. I would not say that. Anime, I think, has done a good thing for the culture. I think, uh... I mean, uh, even your favorite artist, MC Virgins, use a lot of, um... My favorite artist, man. They should be. J. Cole is my favorite artist. J. Cole?! That is so, like, out of left field, bro. What do you mean? You never bring up J. Cole. What do you mean? You never break up, you never bring him up. I, I know I never bring him up, because no one likes him. That's not true. Like, everybody, of course everybody likes no role models. I mean, that's like his biggest song. Yeah, but, like, I think people say that they like J. Cole just to, like, seem cool, because it's like... I do like J. Cole. Like, no, I'm not saying that you're one of those people, but a lot of people are like that. Yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, the same reason a lot of people say that they like, um, what's it called, uh, Tupac. Yeah. Biggie. Oh, yeah, I like the Tupac. I listen to Biggie because I actually enjoy him. Biggie's dope, man. I don't care what anybody says. And that Biggie boy. is like over Tupac. There's no way. Uh... Yeah, Biggie is honestly over Tupac. A lot of people say that Tupac's better, and then like a lot of people make it into like a race thing. Yeah. And it's really not. Well, it's not. I'm Jesus. not paying it, yo. This is other comedians complaining about how he's like, he's like, how arguing, oh, arguing with my, what I ordered at my hip hop high season with a Jorge. I mean, with yeah, a Jorge. Like, really, he's a black guy too, like a hood ass. Bro was, bro was like, uh, do you want the spicy on the mile? He's like, what? The spicy on the mile? What? What do you know put mayonnaise on chicken? I'm a hot sauce. My daddy was a hot sauce. Bro. Bro. That's actually kind of funny, not even gonna lie. Like, bro. No, alright, what do you want to drink? He said, we had the sodas and the uses. What is use? I don't want no soda, but I'm curious about the uses. I don't want no soda, but I'm curious about the uses. 
Why are you not talking so much? Everything okay over there? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, dude. I'm just like grasping over the fact that I might actually be winning this game. Oh, really? Dude, it, it's one to one right now. I swear to God. There we go. You know what? You are like the worst person imaginable. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Come on now. Dude. I got so fun. locked in and just nothing. <laughs> Bro. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I got so locked in, I stopped talking Bro, and everything. Dude, it's a podcast. You're supposed to talk. That was a punishment. But it was just like, I don't know. I was clocked in, man. I was just trying to win that. Mm -hmm. But no matter mm -hmm. how much effort I put in, it doesn't matter. I always lose. Because you suck. Factual, honestly. You should be big hammer nut. You know what I'm saying? Alright, bro. I have a question straight up. Um, as a redneck yourself, um, how do you think about the testicles on the end of, um, what's it called? A Ford trucks? I don't like them. I think they're pretty dope. The big metal balls. Yeah, yeah, boy. It's funny because they got nuts on them. You know you're a redneck when your gun cabinet has a gun cabinet on it. Yeah, how? I play that for Family Guy. <laughs> I like Family Guy, dude. It's a pretty good TV show. You seem like you watch SNL. I, I, of course you like Family Guy. I mean, I like a little bit of SNL. Some, some of the early stuff was cool, but like recently, I think it's just like just Pete Davidson, nothing else. Pete Davidson, he's dating who? Uh, uh, I almost said Kanye. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Kanye, damn, Kanye is crying in his grave right now. Bro, yo, um, Pete Davidson made a great joke about that. He was like, well, I had an AIDS scare this year. Um, it's not that I was having sex with women, it was Kanye told me I had AIDS. And I was like, that's amazing. I want to be told by Kanye I have AIDS. Right, I, I, like, how much money do I have to pay for Kanye to tell me I have AIDS? That's it, I'm calling it. This, this, what? this, this podcast is going, like, this episode of the podcast is going to be called How Much Do I Have to Pay for Kanye to Call Me? To tell me I have tell AIDS. Tell me I have AIDS. Say, where can I buy a website, please? <laughs> what? Say, where can I buy Kanye to tell me? That, uh, dude, we should make that a website. Dude. No, no ends clothing, X mild ones. That would be heat. No end clothing, X mild ones. I think mild ones has a great, um logo as it is yeah and I would love to see that on t-shirts I would yeah. love to see I would I, I would love to see people rep the uh, mild ones brand yeah that would definitely be a cool thing to see Jesus don't play with me Bing <laughs> Bing Oh God, that that had me out of here, bro. I wasn't even pressing buttons. I don't even know how that happened. Come on. Uh. All right, yo. So favorite Call of Duty game? Uh, Black Ops Three. Black Ops Two. Mm -hmm. Or Black Ops hard. One. Uh, I think Black Ops One is so cool because of the historical significance of it. I like, World, I like World War II. Uh, 2017? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it was a pretty good game. A lot of people gave it crap, but... Yeah. Jesus! Yes! Yes! Die! Oh. <laughs> Alright, Morbius. Mordex. Mordex, man. Mordex. What time up my timer, good buddy? Uh, we got about 10 minutes left, buckaroo. Alright, man, you know, first, I shoot here.
fish. Personally, I shoot deer. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, personally, I, I shoot deer. I hunt. I'm alright. You know? Uh, personally, you know, I do one dip thing, spit. There's one thing I should never do. Random. What should you I never could, do? I could never wheelie a bicycle. Mm, neither can I. Dude, but I can really a dirt bike. What's the difference then? It's because you gotta pedal with your own leg. Versus. Oh, and the motor's technically like trying to do it itself. It's doing it itself. Oh, my buddy uh, Jacob, he might be on here one day. Uh, he's got a little. He's got a mountain bike that he put a little little engine on. Yeah. Dude, things bad. That's pretty cool. You've got a little, so when you pedal it, like as you're pedaling, there's a clutch. You hold in the clutch, and then once while you're pedaling and you're up to speed while pedaling, you uh, you let go of the clutch, right? Yeah. And just start the bike up, and you just take off. Oh, you can still dude. use that as a regular bike. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, it's so, so freaking cool. So thoughts on instant ramen? Love it. It's great. It's a great dish, honestly. Bro, to be honest with you, I'm about to get so canceled for this, but like... Shepherd's, have you ever had Shepherd's Pie? Yes, I've had Shepherd's Pie. Amazing. It's facts. But bro, I'm about to get canceled for this. It's like... Um... What's it called? Before I eat ramen, man, I like... I take a bite out of the raw ramen. What? Every time. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's delicious. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's really good. Don't knock it till you try it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, like, I could actually probably eat a whole thing of raw ramen. Like, a whole square. Are you high? No. Maybe. Wait till we're in person. Wait till... I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show all the followers. Show them all my fishing rods and shit. That's gonna be great to see. <laughs> yeah, dude. All my and uh, picture of my grandma. That's dead. <laughs> uh, rest my, in peace, my grandma. My fire, my fire ass Simpsons poster. It's like them all sitting on their family couch, like we do at the start of every episode, but they're all skeletons. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Bro, uh, yo, I think. Realistically, okay, check me out here. Okay. Um, next week or the week after that, we uh, should instead of uploading um like a podcast, okay. we should do room tours and then like okay. upload those instead of doing a podcast for that okay. day. Okay. Why don't we just do a, a one day, we just do like an adventure episode, me and you just go out to town and we just record it. A vlog? Yeah, vlog. Bro, yeah, honestly, if we can set that up, bro, yeah, go to like a, a Rundle Mills. Like a, yeah, we just go chill, be like, yeah, what's up, guys? Exactly. Nah, we should do that in school, bro. Record our school days? Not fully, but like yo, the an the antics that we get up to. Oh yeah. In between classes, cause you know we only got one class together, but it's like. We see each other all the time. Facts and like we get, I think we have some pretty golden interactions. <sighs> yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Are they calling each other co-hosts. There's yeah. my co-host. There's my co-host. So epic, dude. Like, so. Um. Ah, uh, shit. I, you know what I want to do next year? What you want to do? Probably a bad idea. Being that I'm not that tall, I want to join the basketball team. Fair enough. I mean, you don't really have to be tall to be on a basketball team. Yeah, but I at least by the end of summer, I work out my legs a lot, and I'm a. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna be able to dunk by next year. Hey, man. Yo, if you can do that, that's pretty dope. That's what I want to do. I want to be a, a kid that is with a mullet at my school. Yeah, they're going to call you Mike Bibby, bro. 
You don't call me Mike Bibby. I hate it, Mike Bibby, too. Nah, yo, they're gonna call you Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, no, they're gonna call me, call me Larry Bird. Facts. But, yo, Dude, you gotta, like, grow. Had a you you gotta grow, had... like, the gross little mustache that he had. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you know Larry Bird looks like being not a sports player. Well, you know, I'm more Who into, like... Larry Bird? Who what? was Larry Bird? Larry Bird was a center for the, uh, what's it called? For the Boston Celtics. No, he was not a center. What was he, then? Is he really a shooting guard? Yeah, he He's a tall guy. for a shooting guard, dog. Yeah, but, you know, who, what was he best known for? What was he mainly good at? Uh, he was, dude, he was known for, like, um, what's it called? The championships against, uh, what's it called, uh... Magic Johnson. What was he really good for? What was he really good for? I don't know, dude. He was a paint beast, wasn't he? Wow. Oh. He was the fucking one of the best shooters to ever live. He's the second best shooter to ever live behind Stephen Curry. And he did it in the 70s. I find that just so hard to believe. What? Because, dude, he just doesn't seem like he's got the build for that. He is the shooter. He's the one of the best shooters of all time. But like, yo, you know, like Shaq only made one three pointer his whole career. You know, he, you know what he did? You know what he did? What? He would always tell the um, other team what his game plan was, what he was gonna do, and then do it right in front of their face. That is dickish, man. The one time he bet his friend on the court and said, "I bet I could drop forty points with only my left hand." And you know what he did? He dropped six forty. With his left hand. Jesus, man was ballsy. Yeah. Dang! Yeah. And was very ballsy. I love him for that. I almost bought a, one of his jerseys. Honestly, bro, you wouldn't look too bad in a jersey yo, if you just wore like a white t shirt under it. <coughs> I was thinking about I'm buying a John Wall jersey. Like, the all gray one. Which so one? Uh, the one he played for Washington. The all gray one. Bro, I'm just so mad at that they really just got rid of him, bro. He was really like. Um, he was, in his prime. He was, in his prime and he was the Capitals Joe Flacco, bro. Yeah, he was nice. I mean, the right. Wizards. He was Wizards Joe Flacco. <coughs> yeah, I love him. But he did have that injury and he got traded to the Rock. Facts. I mean, what is he doing now? He's right now, he's injured. He's ready to recover. Oh, yeah, so. How much time left on that timer? About two minutes. But yeah, one of my favorite players though is Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo. He's from Baltimore. Yeah, who I like. Yeah. yeah Zion Williams. Yes, bro. I'm not an idiot. I love Zion, man. He is a. Is he still awesome. playing for the Pelicans? Yeah, he's still playing for the Pelicans. He is injured though. I used to watch him in college it's when he used to play for the. I, I always. Yeah, I said he's the next Shaq. He built like Shaq. Yeah, he's up there. So what do you think about um the Jimmy Butler and Michael Jordan comparisons? That's Jordan's son. Huh? That's Jordan's son right there. I believe it, man. I mean, they look very similar. But um, yeah, dude, I love Jimmy Butler. He's he's a cool, he's a cool uh, cool basketball player. I love him. Another player I love is Kevin Durant. Yeah, Kevin Durant's cool. I know cool. why Kevin, you know why, you know why Kevin Durant, like, his goal in the NBA was always, he always wanted to be the best. He was really close, but you know. They all was, do. No, like, no, he was, like, the second best player to ever live. But the reason why he couldn't be the best in the league at the time, you want to know why? Because well. LeBron. LeBron kept that from him. But when LeBron gets old, like he is now, KD's gonna take over. He's gonna be the new best. I mean, since when can you see a seven foot tall guy with handles like that and can pull up and shoot like that? Honestly, he's like I would love to see that, but like, and he can finish, and he can shoot. He's a goat. He's 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 got that Mamba mentality. I would love to see that, but you know, I don't think that's you know, gonna be like. Jordan said in the interview, he said the only person who can beat him in a one v one is Kobe. And that's because he stole some of his moves. Facts. Kobe, dude, he was about that Mamba mentality. Rest in peace, Kobe. I know. Dude, dude, I wish, yeah. 
That was funny when Jordan played for the Wizards for a little bit and then he retired, like, he came out of retirement. And Facts. Retired <laughs> yeah, he retired three different occasions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my bad. Right, well, that end of episode six? I want to say six. Yeah. I want to say six, yeah. I'm... I'm gone. Alright, well, um, thank you so much for yeah, joining us. Thank you so much for watching, you know. Hey, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and, I don't know, comment? Yeah, turn on post notifications, too, to know whenever we upload. Yeah, man, definitely. And stay uh, in the loop, you follow know. Follow me on Instagram, ReclessK, it's my username, you can see it in the game. Um, to help me get to a thousand followers. All right.